Hello guys, I'm Sergio Lema, software architect, and this is the first video of the playlist where I'm going to create the backend application of a social network. In this video, I will start by creating the Maven project, set up the Spring Boot dependencies, and create the Git repository. You can find the GitHub project in the link at the upper right corner or in the description of the video. But before starting, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to never miss a video. Let's use the idea to create the project. In my case, I will use IntelliJ, but it's the same with the other ideas. I create a new Maven project. Next, specify the name. And here we are, we have the project, an empty Maven project. In the project structure, I can see the created folders, which are the IDEA folder, it's an internal file of my IntelliJ, the source folder, where all of the code will be, backend social network IML, which is another internal file, and the most important file of a Maven project, the POMXML. As I said, it's an empty project, but it already has the structure of a Maven project. As we see the source folder with the main and the test folders, and inside the folders, the Java and the resources folder, but all empty. Let's go now with the POMXML. I have a project tag with some stuff here. This is only to validate you don't create tags that are not supported by Maven. The version of the POMXML structure and the definition of our, our project, which is split into group ID, artifact ID, and version. The group ID is the name of the organization, the artifact ID is the name of the project, and this is the current version of the project. Let's just change the group ID to a more suitable name. Now, here we go with Spring Boot. Spring Boot will allow me to start the project very quickly. It already has a lot of stuff configured, as the database, the web server, the dependencies injection, and more. So how do I set this project as a Spring Boot one? I must specify a parent tag, saying that this project will inherit all the Spring Boot architecture and inside add the Spring Boot dependency. Let's go to the Maven Central repository, search for Spring Boot Starter Parent, take the latest version, copy and pass it into the parent tag. Remove those tags, not needed into the parent tag, and that's all. Now my project inherits everything from a Spring Boot project, but a regular Spring Boot project. I have to specify that I want a web project. Go back to the Maven Central repository and search now for Spring Boot Starter Web. Take any version copy and pass into the dependency. Now I can remove the version information because it's already inherited from the parent. And that's all, two dependencies and my web project is ready. Additionally, I will only add the Java version property. This way, I will let Maven use the correct compiler. With this, Spring Boot configures the version of the compiler and the runtime. As I said, Spring Boot already configures it all. It's fantastic. And now, let's try to run it. I create a Maven package.
and an application class add the main method and let's swing start our application I also need to specify that a Spring Boot application with the following annotation. And now I can run it. We can see that the Tomcat server was started which will allow the web communication at port 8080 and that's all. Only with those two dependencies and the main class and I have a web application ready. In the following videos I will add the logic inside but the configuration is already done. One last step for today, the git repository. Go into the project folder, initiate a git repository, check the status, oh too many files. I will add a git ignore file to avoid storing those files into the git repository. The idea folder backend social network IML file and the target folder which contains all the compiled Java classes. Check the status again, and now we can see that they are ignored by git. Add the rest to the index, and commit. Congratulations, here is the first commit of the Spring Boot application, of our backend application. That's all for this video. Remember you have the link to the GitHub project and the video description. And if you enjoyed, don't forget the thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel to don't miss a video. Thank you.